An Indianapolis mother says she is now living out of her car as she waits for repairs to her rental home. In fact, it's been nearly a week since sewage flowed into the house that she says is simply now unlivable. Our Alan Carter tonight shows us what happened and what the landlord is saying this evening. Completely. It's been a pretty tough week for Heather Stevens. And just how are you feeling right now? Um, extremely emotional. I'm homeless. Had to give my children up. So kind of feel defeated. Essentially living out of her Mitsubishi. I, all my belongings have been, yeah, in and out of my car. Because she says the place she's lived for nearly two years is now unlivable. So it flooded into here, the bathroom, the spare bathroom, and then all out into here. And you can see where it's discoloring the walls. It all started last Friday. My sister flushed the toilet. And next thing you know, it just kept coming and it flooded the whole downstairs. We all vacated as soon as we seen the water and the sewage and the smell. I mean, it was you could literally see pieces of feces and stuff floating, like it was bad. Steven says it was about two inches of water through the downstairs. Property managers sent out maintenance techs, a plumber and a carpet cleaner. But when we showed up a week later, the doors were still off, carpet still pulled up, plus some standing water, and the smell of mildew. Supposedly somebody was supposed to come out here and fix this, and it's not. Stevens doesn't want to return until it's all fixed. Couch surfing in the meantime, and having her two boys stay elsewhere. Frustrated, doesn't even begin to explain it. I don't really have anything to call my own anymore other than my vehicle. And that's really, really sad for me. I'm 35 years old, and I don't have anything, nothing. And I did reach out to the manager to Park Place Property Management. Now, their attorney did get back with me today and then gave us a timeline of what happened from their perspective. Now, they say that they were first told about the problem Friday night. On Saturday morning, a technician came out and figured out that they needed to call a plumber. That plumber was there on Monday and says the leak was repaired. On Tuesday, the carpeting downstairs was cleaned and sanitized, but they're now waiting on the homeowner to determine if they want to replace the entirety of the carpet. The attorney says that there certainly are many bad cases of bad landlords in the county who are allowing properties to fall into disrepair, but says this certainly is not one of those cases. Andrea.